six-month-old baby is abandoned, left at her neighbor's doorstep, grows up in an abusive home, yet ultimately she worked through her struggles and is now a multi-million dollar leader in the business world. So how on earth did she do it? Well, Rhonda Shortino is sharing the secrets to her success in her new book. It is called Succeed because of what you've been through. Mm -hmm. How are you? And we're already in love with so you. excited. Oh, we're so happy you're here. This well, is such a great lesson for people. Well, to think about what you've been through. I mean, this the most fascinating thing to me was you broke the chain. Mm -hmm. Like you Cycle were abused, of abuse. you went through a, a horrible time, yet somehow you wound up standing. How, how did that happen? Oh my goodness. You know, I, I had exposure to a wonderful uh, mm -hmm. foster father and mother for a very short period of time. Mm -hmm. They planted a seed. They planted to see. They took me to church and they showed me that people live in, there are people that live in a clean house uh -huh. and they, they get along without hitting each other. Mm -hmm. And I never forgot that. You were desperately poor. You remember not only the abuse, you ended up living in your grand, your mother's parents' home, right. but your grandfather was abusive to you and you, and you remember tr a great hunger. Right. Yeah. They were both abusive. They were, uh, my grandfather was mentally ill, my grandmother mm -hmm. was an alcoholic, and... You That's know, your just, mother's own problems right, in abandoning you. Right, right. So, you know, they had, a, they had a difficult life themselves. And you didn't know, when you were in school, what did you tell the kids at school about what was going on? Oh, I didn't. Not a word? No, no, no. I didn't want anyone to know. It's very shameful. But you were Even saying you, you haven't done a doggone thing wrong, you feel it's your fault, huh? Always. And you always. felt like you went to school and you weren't clean and it was right. embarrassing. And even and though oh, you were hungry, yes. you didn't say anything about it. So how do you go from that? Because at 15 you decided, okay, and this is interesting, that you had the courage to ask for emancipation, which meant you wanted to get a job, you wanted to get your driver's license. Right. What made you decide to do that? I read somewhere about yeah. emancipation and uh, got a ride down to the courthouse and waited. I didn't know you were supposed to go with a social worker or a lawyer. So I just waited and, and kept asking if a judge would talk to me. And, and finally, after hours and hours and hours, someone finally spoke to me and gave me a long list of all the things that I'd have to do in order to get emancipation. And I think he thought he'd never hear from me again. Yeah. And, uh, he didn't so, know you. He didn't know me. So, so I, we had some wonderful people at the high school where I attended, and they helped me get a job. And, and uh, God license. bless the man who gave me that first job and right got my driver's license and six months later I was back and got my emancipation and went on to to work in the in the child welfare world right well I started out in the insurance uh -huh. industry and uh, years after meeting those foster parents uh -huh. I began to do insurance for homes for abused children mm -hmm. so and you I, turned your pain into their gain right well uh -huh. I understood what the kids felt. Of I understood why they acted out. See, people who have been abused often act out in funny ways, mm -hmm. you know, and, and so we hear, even as adults years later, you hear people say, what's the matter with you? Yeah. And you don't know, but it's because of the hurt. But inside. you refuse to be a victim. Yeah. You, you said, I can change, I can use everything that's happened to me, make me a better person, the person I want to be. That's exactly right. See, what I think victims of abuse don't necessarily connect with is that when we go through that pain it creates and hones characteristics in us that very often other people don't have uh -huh. so Strength. we wind up being stronger than uh -huh. the average person uh -huh. courageous resilient we certainly resourceful. have survival instincts that oh, are very right honed. right right exactly so those it's, things can be used in the workplace to make us the most valuable employee in the in the place. So you wound up a success in so many ways in your life. You're married, you have a daughter, She's grandkids. not hungry anymore. Her husband's in the food yeah. business. Yeah, right, right. Plenty well, to eat. Well, well I have to tell you, no matter what you've been through Aww. in your life, it is such a, an interesting read. It lifts you up it and you're going to help incredible. so many people with this book. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank oh, you so much for sharing with us. Go out and get this book. It comes out Thank next you. Tuesday, but you know what? It's available right Amazon. now on Amazon. Succeed because of what you've been through. It's going to change your life, this mm -hmm. book. Thank All you very, very much. Thank you so much.